did you find that, while it's not autobiographical, that pieces of your life sort of seep through some of these individual stories? Because I thought of you as maybe May Mobley as a little girl, kind of with some of your memories that that might have informed that particular story of Abilene and her charge. And then I thought about you as an older girl. You know, you were saying how you were never pretty, but you, Demetria always would, I can't find, I find that very hard to believe, but you had stringy brown hair, you said, and were kind of awkward, but she always made you Hated feel beautiful. <laughs> yeah, she had an aversion me. to the bathtub. Couldn't pay me to take a bath. But are there some things about your life, I guess there must be, that are, that inform all these stories in a certain way? You know, I, I think I probably have more in common with Celia Foote in the book than I'd be <laughs> generally on. willing to admit. So, Really? Yeah, I think there's a little bit of me in all those characters, good and bad. You know, I mean, we've all done things we've been ashamed of or thought things that just, you know, came from God knows where. So, you know, it, it is fiction. Did, did, did you know uh, Girls Like Hilly? Yes. I just hated her so much. Um, every once in a while, I would sort of hit a wall and say, no one was this bad. No, and, and no young woman spoke out about it. And then I had this footage from uh, when they integrated the Little Rock High School in the late 50s. And there it was, the evidence was on screen. These nice, young, white ladies, you know, probably 14 or 15 years old in their white gloves, yelling on national TV into the camera, keep them out of our school, using the N-word, saying things that you never thought you would hear a nice, you know, well-bred Southern woman say. And I, every time I doubted myself with Hilly, I would go back and watch that footage, and I knew it existed. And see the hatred. The hatred. 